Hello Merkinch and how are you? Right, so this is our last week of our rhyming week and I really enjoyed it because a lot of the times I don't go back and think about all these lovely nursery rhymes that I learned when I was younger um, and I don't think about them much when I kind of leave nursery so it's really nice to revisit them with you and I hope you've really enjoyed them and I'm sure you've got a top favourite if not all of them are your favourites. So this week is the last one and it's Hey Diddle Diddle. So I thought we'd have a look at that today. But before we do that, we need to say hello to everybody. So let's get our actions ready. So we start up in the air. Ready, up, down, turn around. Touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Wiggle shoulders, say hello. Hello and how are you today? Thumbs up, are you having a good day? Could things be better? Or is today just not your day? Well, I hope you've all got your thumbs up because it's nearly the Easter holidays. Not that you've only been back in nursery only for a few weeks. I'm sure some of you would like to stay. So let's have a look, hey diddle diddle. Now I'm gonna play it on various instruments today. So I thought we would have a look at some instruments. Um, so let's do that because we've been talking about hi and low. And we've done a lot on the piano because you can really hear the difference but we'll have a look at high and low on some of the other instruments. So one instrument you've seen me play before is this one. What is this one called? Ukulele. Now a ukulele is really small. It looks like a guitar but it's very small. It's only got four strings. One, two, three, four. And it's got a very high sound. Now, small instruments tend to have a high sound. So let's try Hey Diddle Diddle on the ukulele and see how it sounds. Ready? Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away. sounds I think that sounds lovely on the ukulele now remember all of these because you've got to pick your favorite one now what's the opposite and what do you think's got a really low sound that kind of looks like a ukulele but bigger what instrument do you think it could be it's the guitar now you've seen me play the guitar as well can you hear the difference it's got a lot on this one and see how it sounds. Now this one's got more strings, we've got six strings on this one so it's going to sound even louder. So let's try it shall we? I want to show you and these instruments you can't sing and play them because you need to blow into them yeah and they're whistles now can you see the difference between these two whistles this one's really small and this one's really big now remember what I said about the smaller the instrument the higher it tends to be so this is a tin whistle it's made of tin sounds like that now I am not an expert tin whistle player but we're gonna try the tune on this and see how it sounds see what you think ready <laughs> what did you think of that now that's got a very high sound compared to this one so this one's a really low sound. You have to stretch your fingers so far, I can barely stretch my fingers, but I'll attempt it. 
and we'll see how it sounds, okay? <laughs> with these can't you the high and low so this long big one and let's listen to the same note on the whistle wow what a different sound they are and they're still from the same family they look very similar but look at the size difference so you've got a really high one you've got a really low one so you have to decide which one you like the sound of the best and then you can let me know um, like I say, I probably need to practice my whistle skills a bit <laughs> after listening to this, but I really enjoyed the process of all of the lovely nursery rhymes and I can't wait to do some more videos for you after Easter. Hope you have a lovely time and eat lots of really good chocolate. Lovely stuff. Bye.